Hey, what is going on guys and welcome to my single player world for a little redstone video. Now, this is a thing I'm going to show you how to build and uh, it kind of has to do with, um, with another thing which my, I could show you that in a different video. But anyway, right now I am in my mob farm and it is currently not on peaceful as you can see here. But nothing is spawning, nothing is actually doing anything. I can go down here and um, hey I can turn this one on and mobs should be spawning now so I go up and I have no idea how long this should take but whatever I can turn it off again by just pressing this switch over here and I'm just gonna go out and um, you know what I'm gonna go get some bread so I'm just gonna turn this one on and when I come back they should be spawning and going on so uh, I'll see you later. Okay, but whatever. Um, so basically what this video is going to show you is how to make this three-way sort of system. How to make multiple switches go into the same redstone device or same whatever you decide to put it into. Basically I have this switch here, this switch here, and of course the switch on the outside. They all control the mob farm and they can disable and enable the farm whenever I want to, whenever I press a switch. It doesn't really matter if this one is like on downwards and this one is uh, in this case to the left because I can just enable and disable them all, all whatever I want and uh, they all work individually. The way they work is thanks to the wiring over here. Now, the name of this contraption, actually this is something that is used in real life. If you um, could think of uh, a pretty large room, for example, you might have a switch in one entrance, 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 you might have a switch in another one on the other side, and you might just actually have one in the middle of the room or something, I don't know. But uh, the way that works is it uses a so-called four-way switch, or a crossover switch, or an... Uh, there was another name of it, but I can't think of it right now. I'm just going to disable the mobs, so they are not as loud. But uh, the way... I'm going to explain later how to build this, but... Uh, so I have three different levers all controlling each separate part of this contraption to make a single redstone output in the end over here. Go out and disable and enable the mob farm. Now, if you want to know actually how to disable and enable the mob farm, which might be actually be useful in, um, let's for example, you say you have a hardcore world, you want to have a mob grinder where you get items, where you get uh, bones, where you get gunpowder and whatever. I'm actually going to go pick that up right now. There we go. I haven't actually used this one as much because I'm not in need to, but hey, it's here. I built it, so whatever. I'm not going to tear it down if I don't need it. So, let's go over to the, the wiring. I'm going to show you how to build this. Okay, so we are back and we are in my little redstone world which I have been building different stuff in. Basically what we're going to do first is, of course, the first piston. We're going to have two repeaters. Both powered, keep that in mind. Going into two separate outputs, like so. We can put a lever up here, it doesn't really matter where the lever is, as long as power goes to the piston. Then we're going to have to separate these two, this one, and this one can go over here, whatever. And this one should go... Mm, I could perhaps... or I could just do that. This one should go to one piston, put it like, like that. We can do the same thing here, and then we need a second one over here. Same thing here, and this one should be going into both of them. Same thing here, both of them. Then we connect these two into one output or input in this case, in this thing. And this should be a separate or not a, yeah, uh, a single output. So 
so we have two inputs into this one, but a single output. And these two pistons should be connected together into a single lever. Lever? Lever? I don't know what it's called or pronounced. Like so. And this one, of course, same thing here. And uh, these two, the outer ones, should be connected into the other one. I can just make this wiring a little bit small, but put it like, like so. Go like over here, and we can, um, you're gonna have to dig this one down a little bit, so we can keep those separate. And build up here, and just go like so. Should be working. Actually, nope. Um, let's build down like that. Or not. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's go like so, and then instead dig this one down. Can be a little bit tricky keeping these two separate, but in the end it should be working. And put a lever on this one and it should be turning on and off. Same thing with this one, turning on and off. And lastly, or firstly, the, the one you built. First should be turning off and on. So let's go through the wiring. One piston, a single input, goes out to two separate outputs. The two separate outputs goes into two individual inputs or inputs into two pistons which goes into two or in this case four separate outputs the two middle ones should be connected into the same input to the next piston while the two outer ones should be connected into that one if you turn this one around it's gonna look like this except it goes out the other way just keep in mind if you put the piston the same way like this the inner ones should be connected together I am not sure what it is if you turn this one around, it should be like that one. And they should be similarly built, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you find this helpful or anything like that, you could give it a like and subscribe for more Redstone related videos. Bye.